Hey, what's up? It's James from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Luo Yunqi and Bai Lu's drama Till the End of the Moon is rumored to premiere. Dylan Wong and Bai Lu's drama Only for Love officially wrapped filming. Chen Zhuyan and Zhao Lu Su's drama Hidden Love is in sound post production. Yang Zi and Zhang Wanyi's drama Lost You Forever, Angela Baby and Ma Tian Yu's drama Divine Destiny, and Neo Ho and Zhou Ye's drama Back from the Brink release new photo stills, but first, let me talk about Fox Spirit Matchmaker. The upcoming costume fantasy romance drama Fox Spirit Matchmaker released new posters of Yang Mi and Gong Jun because the drama surpassed 1 million reservations on Aichi. Fox Spirit Matchmaker is adapted from a manhua of the same name, and if you want to read it, click the link in the description down below. Fox Spirit Matchmaker has multiple chapters about multiple characters, but this drama focuses on the chapter of Yue Hong. Fox Spirit Matchmaker tells the story of a girl from the Fox tribe, played by Yang Mi, and a demon hunter, played by Gong Jun, whose mission is to kill demons. The Fox and the human tribe fight to the death to protect the peaceful coexistence of their race. This drama marks Yang Mi's second time playing a Fox, and it also stars Miles Wei and Christy Guo. Fox Spirit Matchmaker is slated for 38 episodes, and it's slated to premiere this summer on Aichi. Dylan Wong and Bai Lu's upcoming modern workplace romance drama Only for Love released new photo stills on March 30th as the drama officially wrapped filming. This drama is adapted from the web novel Accidental Love by Chao Yao, and if you want to read it, click the link in the description down below. Bai Lu plays Zheng Shuyi, a reporter who excels in her job and has written numerous reports through her in-depth research of various industries and is determined to land a front-page story. So, she later sets out to have an exclusive interview with Dylan Wong's character, Shi Yan, a top financial executive who is constantly looking for socially responsible startups to invest in as he hopes to give back to society. Shi Yan later finds that Zheng Shui's opinions conveyed through her reports coincide with his own, so he agrees to let her write a series of reports on his company, and the two eventually open up new opportunities in their career and also fall in love. Only for Love is slated for 36 episodes, and it also stars Miles Wei and Shen Yujie. The earliest we can see this drama is the fourth quarter of this year on Hunan TV and Mango TV. Chen Zhuyan and Zhao Lu Su's youth modern romance drama Hidden Love is in sound post-production, and it's slated to premiere this summer on Yoku. Hidden Love is based on a popular web novel, and if you want to read it, click the link in the description down below. The drama tells the story of Song Zhi and Duan Jia Xu, played by Zhao Lu Su and Chen Zhuyan, respectively. Zhao Lu Su plays a girl who falls in love with a boy who often comes to her house to play games in her older brother's room, played by Chen Zhuyan, a boy who is seven years older than her. She had a crush on him when she was young, but they lost contact with each other. After she graduates, she joins the university in the city he's in, and during their day-to-day -day intimate and close interaction, they slowly fall in love. This drama marks Zhao Lu Su's first time playing in a high school-themed drama, and I'm looking forward to it. As for Chen Zhuyan, he starred in 2021's hit high school modern romance drama Our Secret with Rainbow Shu, and I'm also looking forward to his upcoming BL drama winner is King, co-starring Tan Jian Si. Hidden Love is slated for 30 episodes, and I'll keep you updated on its premiere date as they provide them. The highly anticipated upcoming costume Xianxia fantasy romance drama Till the End of the Moon, starring Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu, is rumored to premiere on April 6th, with a total of 40 episodes on Yoku. Due to the new imposed rule, dramas aren't allowed to have more than 40 episodes, and it's also not allowed to split dramas into parts 1 and 2, so Till the End of the Moon will be slated for 40 episodes, instead of its original number of episodes, which was 50, but each episode is going to be 55 minutes instead of 45 minutes. So if I subtract 45 minutes from 55 minutes and multiply it by 40 episodes, then I divide it by 45 minutes and add 40 episodes, 
I'll get a total of 48 episodes. Although Till the End of the Moon will be slated for 40 episodes, it's actually 48 episodes if you do the math. Anyway, Bailu plays the daughter of a powerful sect leader who ultimately sacrifices herself to rewrite history and the future in a desperate state of wanting to save the world from the clutches of the demon lord played by Luo Yunxi. So she gets sent 500 years into the past to prevent the demon lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona. Deng Wei and Chen Duling play supporting roles. This drama's costume and makeup look top notch, and I can't wait to see Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu on screen again as this is their second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit modern workplace romance Love is Sweet, and their chemistry was off the roof. I'm looking forward to Arthur Chun and Luo Yunxi's upcoming BL drama Immortality. The upcoming costume fantasy romance drama Lost You Forever, starring Yang Zi, Zhang Wanyi, Deng Wei, and Tan Jian Si, released new photo stills and a behind the scenes video on March 27th for its one year anniversary since filming began. Lost You Forever is based on a novel series by Tong Hua, and if you want to read the novel, click the link in the description down below. Anyway, the drama tells the love story of love and grief between a young maiden, her cousin, a noble, and a general. Yang Zi plays a girl who runs away from home and gets kidnapped and tortured by a nine-tailed fox. She manages to escape and settles down in a village as a doctor when she meets Deng Wei's character. He was seriously injured, but she cures him, and their love blossoms. She later meets Tan Jian Zi's character, a general who always blackmailed her to give him medicine, or else he'll take her life. She later gets found by her cousin, played by Zhang Wanyi, who takes her back home. Lost You Forever has a stellar cast, and I can't wait for it to premiere. Zhang Wanyi's last historical drama to air is 2021's drama Weaving a Tale of Love, where he played a supporting role, and this drama is his first costume fantasy drama. Tan Jian Si's last historical drama to air is 2021's drama Court Lady, where he played the second male lead, so this is also his first costume fantasy drama, and I'm also looking forward to his upcoming historical BL drama Winner is King, co-starring Chen Zhuyan, Yang Zi, Zhang Wanyi, Deng Wei, and Tan Jian Si recently opened a Weibo account for their characters, so this is a good sign that the drama will soon premiere. Lost You Forever is slated for 40 episodes, and it will premiere this summer on Tencent. Ai Chi Yi and Stellar Pictures Modern Business Romance Drama Rising with the Wind, starring Gong Jun and Zhong Chu Shi, recently surpassed 1.2 million reservations on Ai Chi Yi. Rising with the Wind is adapted from the novel Wo Yao Ni Feng Chu by Wei Zai, and it tells the story of Jiang Hu, played Zhong Chu Shi, a smart, powerful, but self willed and arrogant woman who's been living under the love and protection of her father. One day, her world suddenly falls apart when she loses her father and his enterprise starts falling apart. She later decides to keep her father's shoe brand, and in the process, she meets Shu Si, played by Gong Jun, an investor who wants to purchase her father's shoe brand and sell it at a low price, but they end up running the shoe company together. Jiang Hu and Shu Si later recruits Xiang Jiaoyang, played by Wu Xianyi, a designer, and Yang Jian, played by Gao Ziting, an online store operator as they team up to revive the Shu company. Rising with the Wind is slated for 40 episodes, and it will premiere sometime this year on Aichi. Niu Ho and Zhou Ye's upcoming costume Xianxia fantasy romance drama Back from the Brink released a new poster because the drama surpassed 1 million reservations on Yoku. Back from the Brink is adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of Tian Yao, played by Niu Ho, an ancient dragon who was betrayed by the woman he loved. She stripped him of his dragon bones and sealed them in four directions, causing him to almost lose his life, but by luck, his soul escapes and he gets reborn. Tian Yao later meets Zhou Ye's character, who vows to protect him as she retrieves his missing bones. It's rumored that Yoku wasn't pleased with Back from the Brink's CGI special effects, and they also wanted a good financial support for the second quarter, so they decided to release Till the End of the Moon, starring Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu in its spot. This is just a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt. Anyway, Back from the Brink is slated for 40 episodes, 
and it will premiere sometime this year on Yoku. The upcoming costume Xianxia fantasy romance drama Divine Destiny, starring Angela Baby and Ma Tian Yu, released new photo stills because the drama exceeded 300,000 reservations on Aichi. Divine Destiny is adapted from the novel of the same name, and Ma Tian Yu plays a boy born holding a magical blue stone who excels in all his studies. His parents have high hopes for him, but what he wants to learn is cultivation, and the twist is, he's an immortal banished to the mortal realm as a punishment, and it's his last reincarnation. Angela Baby plays Zhang Yin Yin, who turns out to be his blue stone. They were immortals in their previous lives, but they were banished to the mortal realm because they let a demon escape. After all these things happened, they promised to meet again no matter what. Divine Destiny is slated for 36 episodes, and it also stars the untamed siblings Xuan Lu and Wang Zhuocheng. This drama is slated to premiere in the second quarter on Aichi. If you'd like to support me by contributing a dollar or more, check out my Ko-Fi page by clicking the link in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new drama news updates in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on your screen right now. That's all I have for you today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.